a normal day in my life today is not normal. That's um, that's a normal day. The success of WikiLeaks reveals something that has not been fulfilled by the rest of the press. Our success points to something that the rest of the fourth estate is not doing, uh, which is providing this high-quality internal information about how the world really works and keeping it before the public, keeping it up in the public record. That has not been done elsewhere in the world, and that is why WikiLeaks is successful. Here, Claire. All right, firing. Line here, when the state line up. Let me know when you get it. Watch you. Light them all up. We've had two difficult moments. Uh, one was when uh, two human rights lawyers we were working with in Kenya were assassinated in broad daylight. But the last uh, two months has been the most difficult period uh, for us as an institution. We had a number of events all coming together. So we have a, a war room uh, just outside the Pentagon, uh, reportedly with 120 Defence Intelligence Agency and FBI staff dedicated uh, to uh, investigating uh, and countering uh, our organisation. Significant leverage are being put on Western states uh, to assist uh, the United States military uh, in that regard. Uh, we have seen uh, this case uh, against me personally uh, in Sweden, uh, and uh, case is not the right word actually, but a preliminary investigation uh, against me in Sweden and uh, the hype surrounding that. Um, and we have seen some uh, internal uh, uh, dissension uh, within our organisation, although that has been also uh, hyped up. There's, there's only one person involved. My hope is that. The democratisation of knowledge exchange uh, through uh, the uh, cost effectiveness of the internet plus cryptography uh, will continue and we'll end up with a global historical record uh, that is both accurate and indelible. Uh, and that will both enable immediate forms of justice that were previously unavailable to people.